Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'd like to bring you something this morning that I would call Holy Spirit-inspired poem. I don't know that I would say it's direct words from the Lord as far as dictated messages like a prophecy, but it is on 444 Prophecy News. And this was written by Ruth Johnson. The title of it is A Fight for Life, Ruth Johnson. Posted by 444 Prophecy News on October 20th. Once again, I have to make the disclaimer. If you go to 444prophecynews.com, you're going to find some real prophecies, but you're going to find a lot that are not. Because half of them say the you-know-what jab is the MOTB, and some of them say it is not. It's just a precursor, but that's a lie because not both can be right. My video on bitshoot.com says uh, it has a video. There is a video <coughs> titled Project Precursor. Um, it was made by. Oh, oh, come on, come on. This couple, this married couple ministries. Anyway, it's excellent. And they show all the, all the ministers on YouTube and on TV that have said. It's a gift from God. Take it and live. Yeah, huh? For real. So that's on my bit shoot channel, Truther 2.0, if you want to see it. Project Precursor. It needs to be shared far and wide with anyone who still doesn't believe it, that it's what it is. I'm sorry, my mouse is acting up this morning. I'll try to make it behave. It has become a fight for life. The life you gave. It is our right. God given for us to live. It is your breath to us you give that they want to take away. That's how it was started. A fight for life. Again, October 20th. It was posted, I guess. That was yesterday. Today's the 21st. It's 831. Can't take my dog out yet. We are having a little bit of a storm. Rainy weather. So I put some things down he could pee on. And, you know, I still keep them around. If he wants to use them, he's kind of like, no, I'm waiting until we can go outside. <laughs> Good boy. But really, I want to have him available. So let's get started. It has become a fight for life. The life you gave, it is our right. God given for us to live. It is your breath to us you give that they want to take away any way they can. They are a scourge upon the land. The one you called out of the depths of nothingness, of darkness. Light you brought. Beautiful, a doyle. And I thought, is that a typo? I've never heard of a doyle. Let me just show you what a doyle means. A-D-O-I-L. I looked it up. A doyle is one who generated visibility from the invisible before the beginning of creation by emanating, quote, a great light, unquote, so that, quote, light is born from light, unquote. The events described in 2 Enoch 25, I'm sorry, 24 through 25, that second Enoch 24 and 25 is the pre-creation process comparable to the creation narrative of the book of Genesis. Isn't that something? A doyle. Never heard of it. All right, so light you brought, beautiful a doyle. Sight you brought, touch and smell, ears to hear, a voice to sing from the giver of everything. And so it goes, and so it goes, a fight for life is all we know for they do not want us to own it would like to take it from us a life they have no right to a life they do not fight for we do against them and they will not win now it begins again every waking day each passing hour they expect us to pay they want us to cower we do not live because of them. We live because of thee, capital T, thee. 
and very, very soon, my Lord, the likes of them will see your great hand reaching down <clears throat> just to set things straight. You want none to perish, is the why you wait, but you will not be late. Let them run, let them hide, let them see if that works. When you, the creator of all, reveal where the scum lurks. <laughs> I love that. The ones that want to suck our breath. Them that strive to cause our death. I bet they are underground. Working among the graves. <laughs> Lots farther down than graves. But yeah, this person's right. They're underground. Believing they will not be found and forced to behave. They simply do not know you capital Y, O-U, and all your capabilities. They think their victory will ensue with their limited abilities. And so we fight for life, but we fight with you, who has already won way before it had begun. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, our Heavenly Father, the one son you will send to end this farce once and for all and all your people who heed his call to life, to life, to life, la chain. That's L-A space capital C-H-A-I-M exclamation mark. I don't know what that means. I didn't look that up. Your great kingdom he will bring while your holy angels sing to life, to life, to life. No more pain, death, and strife. We love you, Lord, more than all. We hearken to your trumpet call. You gave us breath. You will end death on bended knee. We thank thee. Isn't that beautiful? I'm glad they shared that on Prophecy News. It's, it is a kind of prophecy, more of like what's going on, right? Set it right. All right, let me pull up my camera here. Let's see. I guess I click on that. Nope, that didn't do it. Uh, Got to pull that down, pull this forward. Okay, there we go. Okay, with that, I'm going to say God bless each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed that and know that our Lord is in control. He is coming for his bride soon. Then we shall return to help those of you left behind. So don't anybody give up. Let's all keep looking up. For our day of redemption draws nigher and nigher upon us. Any day now, things are going to change. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.